Okay, so we have uh, again uh, the discussion here on gravity. No? But again, uh, the, the thing is that no, the, our, the, the thing that we are discussing on gravity is not basically no, the gravity that refers to between planets no? or between celestial bodies. Again, celestial bodies are held in its place no, because of the presence of gravity. No? So why are planets not sticking in its path? It's because of this invisible no? non-contact force called gravitational force. No? Now, um, this gravitational force uh, uh, keeps no, uh, order in our, no? in our planet no? or in our universe. No? Now, um, the, the, the thing about gravity supposedly no, is uh, that uh, principle that we're mentioned no, by Kepler. No? So we have Kepler's laws no, that uh, makes no, planets no, predictable as they go around no, the Earth. No? So as, they, no, no, as, as planets go around the sun, no? you can actually, you can literally no, determine no, on a particular day no, and pinpoint kung di in or kung di in natin makita no, ang Jupiter no, or uh, Mars. No? Because of these laws that were... Uh, formulated no by kepler no we, they, we call them as the planetary planetary no loss no uh that governs no, the movements of celestial bodies no uh, i think even uh even comets no we can we can uh, predict no the locations of these comets no when they will come out no whenever they have appeared no uh once no so um these movements of celestial bodies are made predictable by the planetary laws no, created by Johannes Kepler. No? Uh, I don't know no, if Johannes Kepler is a German, no? so, but he is a sidekick of Tycho Brahe. No? So Tycho Brahe is actually not the, the day. I, th I think Tycho Brahe is a Danish uh, astronomer no? and he died early no? and uh, because of his death, uh, uh, he was not able to complete his work no but the knowledge that he has no was organized by this uh by his uh, subordinate no so the subordinate was johann kepler no eventually no the the knowledge that tycho brahe no gathered no was written out no or made into mathematical form no by uh, johann kepler so johann kepler is eventually no the the guy that uh, allows us not to use no our ipad no? so you notice your ipad no? if you position your ipad there's an app there that allows you to locate no a specific planet no in no in the evening sky no so kung mag -gabi, no? Lang tawon mo, no? where is mars located you can you can use your ipad no or your iphone no? and uh, be able to find these different planets no in our sky now that is if you are interested of a little bit of astronomy no? so anyway no uh, that's uh, that's the nature of gravity and uh, that allows us uh, to to make it more predictable no? where uh, anyway you know um, the one that we are talking about now when we mention about gravity is uh, again not the thing called the center of gravity no? and the center of gravity is relatively different no, from what we just mentioned uh, the behaviors of planets in our solar system. No? Now, uh, the center of gravity is a point in our body no, where the weight, our own weight, no, is found to be concentrated. Kung magsiling ko kanina concentrated, dira sa tanan na tingog. No? If you add up all the weight, no, your whole weight will pass through that single point no, in your body. Kag sa aton nga lawas, no, sa aton nga body, no, na natawo, ara na siya lapit sa aton pusod guys no now the location of our navel no where our total weight passes no allows people no to know their balance no hindi ka dali matumba no how will you position yourself no to be able to uh, not not uh, tip over no like for example no you are training no and uh, doing some uh, uh, firing shots no so anong matabo no if you are doing firing shots then therefore you have to create a stance no nga kada nga position nga nagatindog ka no you hold your gun no and you position your feet in such a way nga hindi ka dali ma tumba kon mag recoil ang pusil no 
again, no, uh, talking about no, your no, center of gravity no, because we locate it in our body. No? Now, again, no, another thing about the center of gravity is so that when uh, there are martial arts events no, and the opponent knows how to, no, how to use that no, against you, no? kibot ka lang, no? gamay mo kontra, but tingala ka nga natumba ka no? or natumba ya ka. No? Because again, no? he knows the idea of the center of gravity of the person. No? And using that area, no? uh, the liya ka hakwa tondera. No? Now, if we want to carry somebody no, that is nalipong siya no? or wala na siya sang, hindi siya conscious, no? I think if you want to lift them up, no? mas mas dali mo siya mahakwat kung dira mo siya kwaton sa iya nga may chan, no? sa iya nga puso dampi. No? Rather nga butungon mo siya sa iya tiil no? or sa iya kamot, no? you will have a, a lot of effort to do no? if you uh, assist or to carry a person on those areas. No? Rather than putting them on your shoulder, no? kag no? hakwaton mo siya. No? Okay? So again, no? uh, talking about no? uh, the center of gravity. No? Our center of gravity is actually a coordinate point, no? If we deal with a square, no, a flat figure, no, so we are a three-dimensional being, no, so uh, a box, no, or anything, no, it's a solid figure, figure like us, and uh, it's quite difficult, probably, no, to locate the center of gravity, no, of a three-dimensional person, no, like a solid object, mm. but if it's a flat figure, no, then then maybe, no, uh, we can we can easily find that out no? now uh so let us see now uh in our future slides so that this one now that the center of gravity is actually no a a uh, a coordinate point no so that's the one that i want to establish with you no that it is an x and y value no uh when we put it no in a cartesian plane and again a cartesian plane is that is that axis no may x and y bala no may aral na siya apat ka quadrants dira no kag dira naton ibutang ang aton figure no now for us to have no a uniform value of this center of gravity we will all agree that the figure that we will be placing no or uh, if ever we will draw no ibutang siya naton sa quadrant 1 no or first quadrant no because we could we could we could position actually the object in several other quadrants no may ara man da second quadrant no third fourth quadrants no now, for all of us, no, when we deal with a center of gravity, we will position an object no, in the first quadrant. No? But before we go to the actual no, determination of the x and y coordinates no, of a figure, uh, let us no, uh, mention about no, the, the center of gravity of this glass. No? Now, if this glass is made to rotate, guys, no, uh, or if we are to support this glass, no, we have to locate its center of gravity. No? It's easier to balance the object here no, in the center of gravity of the glass. No? Um, do you see the glass, guys? Yes, sir. Okay, now, uh, again, in a meter stick, if we have a 100 centimeter long meter stick, no, that 100 long meter stick is easily balanced out no, if you find the 50 centimeter mark no? just like when we perform the second condition for equilibrium when we put masses on the meter stick that that the uh, fulcrum or that balancing point no ginbutang siya naton sa 50 centimeter mark no? if instead of that triangle or that fulcrum no kun aton kamot ang aton ibutang da sa 50 centimeter mark sa aton meter stick we notice na aton nga aton nga meter stick mabalanse na siya no now imagine this uh this long uh i think now this is a wrapper now if i if i locate the center of gravity of this uh of this wrapper no and i i'm going to hold it no in that particular point then ma notice na ninyo nga mabalanse ko na siya no so i i can balance this thing no now again now you can only do that if you find no, its center of gravity no just like this glass no now that same glass no where its center of gravity is fixed no will will now no uh, appear differently no when we try to invert the glass no now again no since the center of gravity is a fixed location then when we 
uh, when we invert the glass here, no, then the center of gravity now will be relatively nearer no, to the table or to the base of support. No? So ang ini ding apart kung diin siya naga, naga, naga tong tong, no? ang manang base of support. No? Now, comparing the left side figure with the right side figure, no? our CG, no? or short for center of gravity, mas lapit ang atong CG dere no sa right side no sa base of support compared to no the left side figure where it is relatively farther farther no from the base of support no? now we describe the figure on the left side as an unstable equilibrium no this object actually is in equi <clears throat> So, so basically, that object on the left is still in equilibrium condition. Sila ka dua at rest na equilibrium na sila. No? But we describe the figure on the left uh, as unstable, no? more or unstable, because mas layo ang iya nga CG no? sa base. No? Ang sa right side, we call it a stable equilibrium because mas lapit siya. No? Now, uh, we relate this uh, idea no? of stability no? in cars, no? like the ones that are made no very very close to the road no may mga salakyan or auto no or automobile no that are purposely made ng iya nga tire no is so is so is relatively small nga lapit-lapit na sa dalan no? now however now in in the philippines or in iloilo often no we don't we don't build cars nga lapit sa sadalan kay damo humps no damo mga lubak-lubak ang atong dalan and if your car is like that no most likely masagod na siya no so we we will rather prefer no a car na medyo angat siya sa dalan no and uh, probably because of flooding also no but if the car is designed no nga lapit-lapit siya sa dalan no and uh, maliko siya no kag dasig gali magdalaga nang ini sa mga salakyan no more likely no it will it will hold no or it will be more stable for that car no Okay, again, ang iya nga CG or center of gravity is near the base or the ground. No? So again, no, that's, that's the reason why some cars are built. No? Very, very close to the ground. No? Okay, so uh, again, no, the right side figure is called a stable equilibrium. Whereas no, the left side figure is called as unstable equilibrium. No? Now, uh, the idea of stability again no, goes into no, the concept of of uh, vehicles, airplanes no, that are designed no, to be more stable or unstable because they they are suited no na unstable sila no? like a like a speedboat for example no? a speedboat is literally now designed to be unstable because you want the the speedboat to make a sharp turn no? so because of its speed and uh, because of its maneuvering ability no nga pwede siya makaliko na dasig lang no? So unstable gid siya, no? Okay, now or for example, between a motorcycle, no, and a car, no, which is more unstable, I think the motorcycle, no, it can dali kaya matumba sa motorcycle ka, no? However, now the motorcycle can make sharp turns, no, compared to a car, no. Okay? So dali lang niya maka U-turn ang motorsiklo, no. So again, no, the distance from the base no, rel relatively no, uh, tells us no, that the glass on the right no, is uh, more, no, more stable than the other. No? Now for our car here no, or our jeepney, no, you notice that some jeepneys ginakargahan nila sang damo-damo sa babaw. No? Now what we notice with the jeepney eventually as you load no, so many things on top of it, no? its center of gravity no, also goes up no, with the things that you load on top of it. No? So kung uh, ideally, eh, kung ang aton nga uh, jeepney, no, ang iya center of gravity ari lang din, no, as you put more things on top, no, nagasaka ang CG yeah, no, as you add this object here. No? Adding one more object changes now the center of gravity of the whole, no, whole structure, no, the jeepney together with the load. No? So kung taas-taas na ginada sa babaw, more likely layo layo na ni ang CG from the base no? and what do you notice about the jeepney once its center of gravity or is already no at the top no you notice nga nagalinggilinggi na, na sa karan no? no matter what you do no matumbala lang gid na ang jeepney no 
kung sige ka na karga nga karga sa babaw no so putting so much load on top of the vehicle no is not a safe practice no so dapat may limit na no hindi mo na siya pwedeng kargahan nga kargahan no kay abi mo anay kaya ya lang na no for for some reason kibot ka lang matumba lang na siya on its own no okay Okay, now, boxes, no? Gina, we store boxes, no? And may ara na siya ginabutang uh, markings, no? Do not stack beyond six. Do not stack beyond seven no? boxes. Okay, again, no? if you add more at the top of it, no? after the six box, no? Uh, you notice that it will wobble already. No? Uh, kita ka lang na, ang nagahulag lang na siya on its own, no? Because again, no? There are designs, no? They, they are simply designed up to that limit. No? So, talking about the center of gravity no? now for figures that are relatively no very very predictable or regular shapes like a square no you can simply draw a diagonal for it no drawing a diagonal no and putting it in an axis no for example this one no? so if you put it now no in a in an x and y axis no then we are able to find its center of gravity no so what we did was now so given a square we said that if the center of gravity is a coordinate point now then we need to use now the cartesian plane no? now the cartesian plane is this x so x is the horizontal line and y is our vertical line no? now here now we will all have no a a value for x and a value for y that are all positive no? That is if we agree no, that we draw our figure no, on our no, uh, first quadrant. No? So this is the first quadrant, no, the upper right no, uh, location no, of this uh, grid. No? So uh, all of us will draw our figure here. No? Hindi, hindi pwede nga dirita siya i-drawing nga itoon tagid siya di sa may, sa may, ano, sa may origin. No? Ining iyang uh, pan. No? Or dirita siya ibutang sa third quadrant. No? Now, we can still get a coordinate value there, but we will have several values. No? So when we make our center of gravity, dito siya ibutang sa first quadrant. No? Now, if we know the length of this uh, of this box no, or this square, no? for example, we know that this is length no, at 2 centimeter. No? So supposing no, from one end to the other end, no, that's a 2 centimeter mark. No? This one is also 2 centimeter also. No? Therefore, if we draw a diagonal and draw a line, no, we realize that this line no, will, will be no, at a value that is half of 2. And no, this one will eventually become pila ngatun value dira, no? So let's adjust our... So maybe no, this one is of length 1. No? And this one is also of length 1. No? So therefore, if we will find now the CG, no? so what's the CG value here? So I'll call it CG. No? So it comprises of X and Y value. So X is 1, comma 1. No? So that is now my center of gravity for this square. No? So this square will, will, will have its CG no? at 1, 1. No? So if it's a rectangle, then I think no? we apply the same principle. No? You draw a diagonal. And then uh, you locate now uh, where is the no? is the equivalent x and y value. No? So again, okay, uh, this x value will will have some uh, graduations there. No? Okay, now do you follow the discussion there? No? So again, now our CG value is drawn now by making now a diagonal across our square. And no, eventually put that in a Cartesian plane and draw and find no, your x and y coordinates of this point. No? So the point that are that we are concerned of no, is this one. No? What is the value of that particular point no, in terms of x and y? No? But you have again no, to draw this no, in the first quadrant of your figure. No? Now, um, So if it's a rectangle, then maybe you do the same thing. No? And we believe, again, no, at this point, once we know the center of gravity, the center of gravity now will, will uh, allow us to find no, where is the total weight of this rectangle. No? So this arrow here, no, this pink arrow that is pointing down, no? 
is the concentration of the whole weight of the rectangle of the square no? and again now we call that point where the weight passes no? as the center of gravity no? okay so again now um uh, i think now you've seen that uh seemingly no inango piece piece bala no it's a plastic uh, figure that may ara siya nga daw big no nga may ginabutang yang iya nga daw bibig sa daw isa ka daw pointed nga daw pyramid no and you'll you'll notice that that bird will try to flip no do nagalupad siya no actually the idea there is just using no the concept of center of gravity no why is it that it seems nga ang ina nga daw pispis na galupad siya no pero ang iya lang nga bigtong nagatungtong sa daw pyramid no and i hope you've seen what i what i'm referring to no that that bird seems to be flying no uh, and uh, ang iya nga center of gravity is outside of its body no now it's possible no that the center of gravity of one object may be no out no of where its total mass is actually found no so again okay, now the center of gravity is not only within the figure now again, now the whole weight here of the rectangle will be again now concentrated on the lines now where we now find now the intersection now of the diagonals now. Now for a square, of course, now it's a, a circle. Now it's more easy now because we have a center of the circle, and the CG there will be the center. Now, so this is your radius now from the center and the ends of the circle now. Now for our uh, triangle, no, I think the triangle here now uses the midpoint. No, so if you locate the midpoint on one side, no, so this is the midpoint. You draw a line, no, from the end no, or corner of the triangle to that midpoint, no, of that side. Now there are three uh, lines. No, I can. I think we call this as the median of the triangle. No? The median is a line that is drawn, no from the corner of a triangle to the midpoint on the opposite side. So we call that as the median. No? Now there are three medians of our triangle no? and the intersection of this median no? is known as the center of gravity of the triangle. No? So they, 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 they call it as the heart of the triangle, no? the intersection of the three medians no? of, the, of, the, of the triangle. No? So the weight of the triangle is somewhere there. No? So again, no? locating no? geometrically no? the center of gravity of this regular figure. No? We call them symmetrical or regular figures no? because they are highly predictable. No? So for, for this one, I think it will not be that much of a challenge. No? Now, if it is a solid figure now, no? so a solid figure may contain no? some, some uh, squares here no? on this edge. No? But uh, we see you know, that the location there you know, may be inside. You know, if it's a hollow box, then it's CG, guys. You now maybe exactly you know, from this corner to the other corner on that other side. You know? And the intersection there you now is now somewhere in the hollow portion of this, of this box. You know? And that's the concentration actually of the total weight. You know? That uh, imaginary point you know, inside our box. You know? location unless otherwise this is a solid no solid figure that even the in, inside portions are filled now with the same the same material no? so again now uh, these are what no polygons no or flat figures and then this one is a box or a solid figure no which relatively no uh, has uh ng iya na center of gravity no? Now for our uh, consumption, uh, what we will be having uh, are these flat figures only. Uh, and those are the ones na pangitaon talang ang iyang center of gravity. Uh. Okay, the, the center of gravity of an unsymmetrical figure. Uh, so I also call this word unsymmetrical figure as, uh, as composite figure. Uh. I, I, I usually refer to it as a composite. So uh, again, no, uh, an unsymmetrical figure is a uh, is a combination no, of squares, rectangles, no, maybe circles or or circles, no, triangles together, no, and eventually our our figure is actually no in real life, no, they are always a combination of 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 many many other shapes, no. Uh, we could not just 
see you no know, a person you no know, kagang lantaw so sa, sa tanan nga tao they are they look like squares no they look the same no no now, in real life one person looks different from another person because we are all unique no we don't we don't we are not shaped all like a square no that all of us no are are basically the same no na identical no we are not no? so so basically no things in nature are a combination of many many things that makes them different from one another no? so here comes our unsymmetrical figure no? so what if the figure is unsymmetrical no? how then no do we find its center of gravity no? and by by unsymmetrical no uh, maybe no uh, we will now have no this formula here no so we are shown with how or the way no we determine no its center of gravity now the center of gravity that we will be seeing here no is denoted by no a symbol c x bar no so may ara kada nga cg value and our cg value guys no is uh, again no, indicated by an x x bar no ara kita x bar kag y bar no value no? so uh, usually no uh, an x bar or a y bar no is telling us that it is an average thing no so we get an average value for that no now if you look at the formula of x bar there no it's actually an average value because we are multiplying no, some kind of a number no with its weight no kon pila ang iya nga unod no and then eventually no we we add those pairs of products no sa babaw and if there are a lot more no then maybe nagadugang kita da then sa dalom may gina total man kita no now usually you know, the the symbol a here no is is a notation for area no so a there no big letter a is actually no uh, a notation for some kind of an area of a figure. So you'll be getting an area of a specific regularly shaped figure. No? So that's a figure of a symmetrical object. No? Okay, we will we will give a specific uh, example for that. No? So A there refers to an area. No? Now our X1, no? Do you see an x sub 1 value no? so x sub 1 value is is the coordinate no that's a coordinate of uh, of x no of uh, one specific area no? so we divide our area into several figures so that's the coordinate no uh, i mean no that's a, that's an x coordinate i mean no? so this is an x coordinate of uh, an area, no? a specific area. The same way for y, y one, no? y one also is a is a y coordinate, no, of of that same figure. No? So uh, again, no? um, this is our this is how it looks like. No? But we will give an example, no, and uh, we will be able to understand that, no, in a short while, no. Okay, so uh, these are our, no. Uh, equations no so x bar and y bar no refers to some no to some coordinate value actually no that's an average value no so x bar and y bar no? okay now uh we let's say now we have here a composite figure now you'll notice that this is not a square this is not a rectangle but it's a combination of squares and rectangles no so we have it seems like no it appears as though as though it is a, a letter f no so but these are actually no a combinations of squares and rectangles no so the main thing or the first thing that we do no is to no find no the, the center of gravity of this whole figure no so pilang ya center of gravity sine no as a whole figure no now if you will put this figure now no in an x and y axis no so a while ago, we recall now we draw a line here now. So we call it as x axis, and then we draw also a line there now, which we call as the y axis now. And 
we have to agree no, that when we determine the center of gravity of a composite or an unsymmetrical figure, we will place it no, in the first quadrant. Huh? Now, you'll notice that if we will invert this letter F no, and not position it like this, no, what if balis ka doon ko sana? You'll realize that since the center of gravity is a fixed point, then we will get a different coordinate. No? But it does not mean no, that the center of gravity is different. No? Since it's a fixed point, now you'll notice that just like that glass, no, it changes its value no, whenever we put it near no, the base or when we put it far from the base. No? So again, no, once I give no, or a figure is being drawn, no, nga amuni yachura, no, hindi na siya pag rotate no? We will not rotate it anymore. No? So that we will have a uniform value for the center of gravity. No? So first step, again, no, position it in the first quadrant no, of our figure, of our uh, X and Y coordinate. No? And then next, we will split our figure here no, into regularly shaped. No? We realize that if we draw it, we can dashed lines here, no? cut it. No? We notice that we will end up with three regularly shaped figure. No? May arat lang kita, no? when we draw these dashed lines, may arat lang kita rectangle nga laba, no? which we can probably call as area 1. No? We have here a shorter no? rectangle no? and another shorter rectangle. No? That is if, I, if it is a rectangle. No? Maybe this can be considered as a square. No? Now again, no? we end up with three symmetrical or no? regular figure. No? Square, rectangle, rectangle nga laba. No? Okay? So again, no, that's the next step. No? You divide it no, into no, regularly shaped figure. No? Now, is this the only way that we can divide it? No? Actually, pwede maningalain. No? Dari mo yung drawing. What if, mambal ka, no? sir, what if we will draw the line here? No? Pwede ba na sir? Or dari tama drawing man? No? O amunta na. Then again, no, it is possible, no? and it is also no. Uh, you will also get no the same answer, no. But what is the difference, no, of drawing it this way, no? No, may ara kita one, two, three, four, no figure, no. Now the difference is that we will end up with more no shapes, no. Ang aton karon nga rectangles in this way, no. If we will do it like that, no, we will have here one, no. We will have here two. We will have here three. And the last rectangle that we will have is this one, the fourth one. And again, the more rectangles that we will have, no, then the more things that we will be solving. No? And usually we don't want to do that. No? So as much as we can, no, we will try to narrow down our figure, no, na obrahon, kag dapat, the least number of shapes nga ma-end up na to, na mo ng ideal. No? So kung may mo pa lang tatlo, mas mapili o natong na tatlo lang, no? Okay? So again, no? we will we will see the reason for that, no, in a short while, no? So the least number of figures, that's the ideal one, no, na answer, no? But again, no, the, the the thing is, hindi man sala, no, kung damuon mo ang figure nga drawing on no? Now, next thing is, no, after dividing it into regularly shaped figures, we will now label it as area 1, area 2, no? And area number three. No? So we will now have A1, A sub two, A sub three. No? And for our area one, no, madrawing na kita sang diagonal subong. No? So for area one, pwede natin siya ma locate, no, kundi makita ang iya x coordinates sang area one. No? Kay ti rectangle na siya. No? Now, if the length of this Ang hindi nila din portion na length na if this length is actually na 1 cm long na or 2 cm long, then we can now have an x value for area 1. No? We can also have a, a y value for area 1. No? So if we, we are given the dimension of this rectangle, no? just like that one, no? area 2, no? pwede naman kwa o ng iyang... Uh, x coordinate y coordinate dira no so kun idagdag natin sa dalom diyang value no then we can also get no the x coordinate of area 2 no the same way for area 3 no so i project natin sa dalom 
then there is now an equivalent x value for this one. No? Okay, now the same way when we draw a line going to the left, we could also have no, y coordinates for each of these diagonals, no? these intersections of the diagonal. So, tatloka pairs, no? tatloka pairs of coordinates no? for these three no? regular figures now. No? Now, let's say that the, the length of this, uh, this uh, line no? from here, from the origin to this point is two. No? Now, this one no? over here, four. So, meaning ang length in is also two. And this one is also six. So, meaning ang length from here up to here is four. No? So, this is a, a rectangle no? with length of four units. No? Now, uh, if that's two, no, this one is four, no. So, ang ining line four. This is six. This is eight, no. And at the top, no, that's ten, no. So, meaning from here up to there, it's ten units, no. From here up to here is two units, no. That's what I've said again, no. The center of gravity, no, is not three different points, no. Kung aton siya yung out doon, no? nga separate ni nga mga parts ang aton nga letter F na figure, then we will have three different centers of gravity. No? But as a whole, no? kung atong letter F did yung aton gamiton, then isa lang gina ang iya center of gravity. No? Just like kita nga tao, we have several parts. No? We have an arm, a head. No? We have feet. But our center of gravity is only at one single point. No? The same way for that one. No? Isa lang nang center of gravity. No? Now, how then do we find no, the center of gravity of the whole thing? No? So first of all, no, we will try to determine no, how much is this x value. No? So if from here, from the origin up to this point is 2, so this one no, is actually no, 1 unit. No? Now, if you project also a line going, going left, no, or ini naman sa figure Two, no area two. Ang yan naman yung center of gravity dere, no, is exactly falling on no four, no. So mayara siya coordinate ng four, no. For our uh, for our uh, so ang aton nga x one, no, is one unit tama ni kaina de. Ang aton x sub two is exactly no four, no ining area two. Ang aton area 3 no or figure 3 ang iyaya nga x value is 3 no ini it's 3 units now if you draw a line going left no pagdto naman sa y axis so pila ni di ini nga value no how much is this value no for our area 1 no so it's between 4 and 6 no so most likely it's 5 no now for our figure 2 no sa babaw how much is this line that goes to the left? No? So more, more or less, no, our y2, y sub 2, no, is equals to 9 units no, or 9, no, ang iya coordinate. No? So again, no, for figure 1, the coordinate here is 1, 5. No? Um, figure 2, it's 4, 9 no, if you pair it together. And then last figure here will be 3, no? 3, 5. No? So most likely this is 5 units. No? Ang pakaduda sa wala. No? Okay, now, how do we apply now the, the value no, that we have no, a while ago? No? So next thing to do is to find no, the area. No? So how much or how big is area 1? No? Ano kadako ang area 1? No? Ano ka ang atong area 1? So area 1 is actually no, 2 units. No, this one from the origin up to this point is 2 units. From the origin going up is 10. So this dimension is 2 by 10. If you multiply 2 times 10, no, the dimension, 2 times 10. So this is actually no, 20 square units. No, ang nga area. No? So we get the value of area 1. No? How about area 2 no, over this side? No? So more likely, no, this length here is 2. This uh, length below, no, or yeah, no, this length below is 4. 
This one is 2. No? So its dimension is for area 2. No? It's 2 by 4. No? So 2 times 4 gives you 8 square units. No? So the area here is 8. No? Now the area of figure 3, no? area 3. No? So this is 2 by 2. No? So therefore it's a square. No? So area 3 is a square. So 2 times 2 gives you 4 square units. No? So we have the different centers of gravity of each of this regular figure, and we also get its area. No? Now, if you will now get the total area, no, add up 20 plus 8 plus 4. So the total area of letter F, if you will try to find that out. No? So that's 32 square units. No? The whole figure letter F. No? So ang Indo letter E ni nga symbol, this, me, this means to add no? summation notation. Na, sa, no? So ano nga itong gin-add? Inila nga side. No? A1 plus A2 plus A3 no? is equals to 32 units. No? So we have now an area and the corresponding areas no? of the individual figures, no? including their coordinate points. No? Now to get x bar no or the x coordinate of our cg no or center of gravity we will multiply area 1 na 20 with x1 no Next we will multiply area 2 which is 8 no? with x sub 2 na 4 no amo na partner no and a3 is multiplied to x3 no which is 4 times 3 no Then we will be dividing it no by the total area which is equals to 32 no? So if you'll try to solve it now, so again, area one is 20 times one. No? Then eight times four, which is X sub two. Four times three, no? three again no? is X sub three. No? So this is that value. So if you'll get the product and divide it by the total area of no? 32. No? So our X bar no? is actually no? two units no? from the origin. No? So that's the first value of our center of gravity. No? So we were now able to solve x, x bar. No? Now x bar again is the final no? CG of the, of the center of gravity of letter. No? Now for y bar no? or the y coordinate, we will now use also a similar equation to x bar. No? But this time we will multiply y and a. No? So for our first figure is, for our first value is a1, no, 20, will be multiplied to 5. No? And then 8 multiplied to 9, 4 multiplied to 5. No? Dividing by the same denominator, no? No, 32. No? So to solve it, no, then we will get 6. No? So if you'll try to locate that, no, 6 is somewhere here. No? So eventually, if you'll try to draw a line, no? if you are to draw a line, no? so if this is 2, and let me just change it to a color yellow. No? So if this line is 2, amun niya nga itong x bar. No? Our y bar, diri siya nag-aagi kung nasa 6. So. so eventually, our center of gravity, no? ladies and gentlemen, is somewhere here. No? So this one is our final CG. No? And what is that final CG? It's equals to 2 comma 6. No? So the way we write our final CG for letter F no? is now written as 2, 6. No? Now again, now we will have a different value probably if we try to rotate letter F. No? Kung gintiyog tang letter F kag ang aton, karun value, lapit na siya sa x-axis, then di malain man ni ang value naton. No? Now again, now for our uniformity of answers, when we see letter F in this position, hindi na siya pag itiyugon. No? Hindi na siya pag i-rotate. No? So we will not be changing our no? actual coordinate values. Do you understand? Okay, so we were able to find no, a value for our CG, guys, no? which is now uh, equivalent to 2.6. No? Okay, I hope you, you get that one. No? Now, what about if we have this figure here? No? So if the dimension of the figure there, no? so let's say uh, our figure no, has this dimension. No? So 
these sides here are equal to two, no? So this is two, this side is maybe not two also, no? And uh, again, if we will try to uh, draw our X and Y axis there, no? So we have our X and Y axis. Now, how much will be our, no? How much will be our, uh, where is our center of gravity eventually, no? Din karo na atong center of gravity dere, no? Then maybe, no? Again, no? We can split the figure into regularly shaped figure, no? Now, this is not the only way that we can do it, no? We can, we can also draw lines, no? Horizontal, no? We can also do that, no? But again, no? The goal is to have the least number of divisions, no? So if we draw it horizontally, no? so we will have here 1, no? 2, 3, 4, 5. No? So kung horizontal ang atong pag-drawing, we will end up with 5 figures. No? And which one will we prefer? No? 4 or 5 figures? Again, no? with more divisions, more computation is also needed. No? So I think no? we will have to settle no? with the least number, and that is by drawing no? vertical lines instead. No? Now, what's the dimension of this rectangle here? No? So this is 2 by 6. No? This one is 2 by... How, how long is this figure in the middle? So if this is 4, this I think this is also 4. No? So this is 8. No? 2 by 8. No? This one is 2 by 6. No? And this one is 2 by 4. No? So we can we can also name them now no as figure one, figure two, not the no, figure three and figure four, no, or area one, area two, area three, area four. No? Now we can then draw our no, diagonals for each. And what about figure one? No? Di nang yakaran nga x1, y1 value, no? So maybe that value here, no? Since this is two units, no? So pila nga itong nga value dira sa x1. Our x sub 1 must be, no? 1, no? And if this is 6, no? Ang length dira is. So this value going left must be y, y1 na 3, no? Now, let's go to figure 2, no? So figure 2, no? So how much is the x value over here? No? Pila nga x value dira, no? So again, okay, if this is already 2 and we extend no, one more unit, so ang atong x2 is 3. No? Okay, try to check. No? Again, x2 is 3. No? Because again, no, we don't get half of 2 only, no, 1, no? because we are starting from the origin. No? So from the origin, if this is 1, no? may ara ka na daan nga 2 nga units na di nga daan. No? So all in all, no, from the origin up to here is three units. No? Now, if you project it to the left, then that must be six. No? Six na lang yung y. No? Now, let's go to figure three. No? Ang atong figure three, this is five. How come this is five? Again, no, this is two plus another two. Pick one unit in a, no? So four plus another one will now give us five. No? So this must be five. No? So last figure no ang aton area 4 no area 4 no pila na ni karon ang x dire no so fortunately now it falls directly to 8 so maybe we can just say that it's 8 no so again now it is measured all the way halin gidi sa primera no so again now how did we get 8 so again this is 2 4 this is 6 no and then again no half of 4 na 2 so eventually 8 kid man siya no now let's get the y value no so first value nga y so this must be 3. No? Next value is 6. No? How about this one? No? How about our y3? No? y3 is half of 6 and 8. No? So but dapat 7 siya. No? And finally, no, our y4, which is exactly in line no? for our figure. So that must be 7 also. No? So this is our x and y pairs. No? 
Now, next thing now is to get the area. So, area 1, how much is the value? So, this is 2 by 6, no? That's 12. Our next figure is 2 by 8. So, that's 16, no? Area 3 is 2 by 6. So, that must be 12. And finally, this is 2 by 4, no? 2 by 4 or 2 times 4 gives you 8, no? So, again, no? this is our area individual areas and we will get the sum no, of the areas add it up 12 plus 16 plus another 12 plus another 8 no? so that's 48 no? that's the total area no? so now this figure now that we just saw earlier CG, no? can you calculate no, the cg for me no, using the equation that we have earlier no? okay so we get the Value, no? So x bar must be, no? 12 times 1, no? The first area and x1. 16 times 3. 12 times 5, no? And then 8 times 8, no? So a4, x4 na, no? Kung x siya gani, x man na nga ito, multiply sa area, no? Ang atong denominator is always the same, no? That's the total area, no? Which is 48. So the same na siya karon sa y bar na ito, no? So get the numerator. So the sum there of our numerator is 184 divided by 48. No, we now have no a decimal answer. No? So 3.83. So 3.83 is somewhere no beyond no 3. This is 3. And between 3 and 4, kaglapit lapit actually sa 4. No? So somewhere here, no? Kung i-drawing, mo na dang a line, no? You can draw a line there. 3.83, no? So that's where the x value is found. No? Now, what about y bar? No? So y bar is a1, y1. No? So that's 12 times 3, 16 times 6, no? 12 times 7, and 8 times 7. No? So adding that up, that's 272 divided by 48. No? So the value is 5.67. Again, 5.67 is near to 6. No? So if this is 4 and 6, no? So maybe somewhere here. No? Now, if you draw a line, no? if you draw a line, so more, more likely, no? we are 5.67, uh, maybe somewhere here. No? That's just an estimate. No? And the other value is 3.83. No? So maybe somewhere roughly here. No? So therefore, the CG of our figure, no? Is this point now how do we write cg again so cg is written as the first value x no? so 3.83 comma 5.67 no? no? and again now we don't rotate the figure so we will have a uniform answer no? so hindi pwede nga tiyugon mo na no? maybe as part of uh, an exercise no you can try this one. No? So again, no? the first step is to draw this in a in a Cartesian plane. No? And after drawing that in a Cartesian plane, then you can now split the figure no? into regularly shaped figure. No? But these are the edges. No? So 8 is this length. No? This, this might be no? 2. No? If that's 4, so maybe if this is 2 already and they are in line, no? So if this is 2, then this must also be 2. No? Okay, 4 minus 2 is 2. No? So how long is this one? No? So you can probably measure this. No? If this is 2 and that's another 2, so this must be 4. No? Okay, now you can see that from the other no? uh, projected sides no, of the figure. No? So this is our answer there. No? Um, our, our figure, I mean. No? So you can try that 